Well, hello there, konnichiwa to you all, good morning. So, I can do the review or for the review of Bleach 534. Everything but the rain uh, opening 7, the all of reproach. Uh, so, apparently, I think that is in the color page that uh, says that this uh, uh, mini arc or the past arc is close to his hand in any ways let's go um this chapter starts with uh, in soul society with uh, mazaki uh, going uh, to the barracks uh, and to ask something to ishin and when she enters she sees uh, a note left by ishin saying that he is going to the human world and uh, to her to come with uh, excuse to the captain commander uh, she is pissed and uh, Toshiro is also there um, and that's it then we go directly to the human world in this case to the Ishida mansion uh, Mazaki is returning uh, I think that's from school and right after she enters in the mansion, she is confronted by Ryukens, Ryukun, Ryukens mom uh, that begins questioning her why she did not tell nothing about uh, the fight uh, she had against White. Uh, Ish, uh, Ryukun is also a uh, uh, coming from I think it's the first floor and watches uh, the start of the discussion then he runs to, to Katagiri and begins questioning, uh, questioning her why she tell um, Ryuken's mom about what happened uh, when she was fighting white and why she tells uh, Ryuken's mom that Mazaki did save a uh, Shinigami. Uh, Katagiri explains herself, and it kind of makes sense um, because she uses the own words of Ryuken that uh, he says something that uh, Mazaki needs to stay well and his blood needs to stay pure uh, for the future marriage between Ryuken and Mazaki. Uh, obviously Ryukan is very pissed with Katagiri however he cannot uh, scold her too much because it was in fact uh, his own words that made Katagiri act and Katagiri in this case shows um, a great uh, loyalty to the Ishida family and to the pure blood of the Ishida family. Then Ryukan goes to again to the hall where the conversation discussion between uh, Mazaki and Ryukan's mom is still continuous. Then Mazaki faints and Ryukan runs to her and then he saw that Mazaki possessed a small hall uh, in this chest uh, so um, uh, Ryukan man also explains that Mazaki needs to be treated by Quincy uh, doctors I think uh, because of the wounds she received or she should have told Ryukan's mom about it because a Quincy or a pure blood Quincy apparently needs to be treated according to special pros procedures by Quincy doctors. Um, Ryukan grabs um, Mazaki and runs. Uh, then he goes to the street. When he is carrying 
Tamazaki uh, a holocaine and try to attack him and Tamazaki and uh, then Ishin appears and slashes the hollow and destroy him. Then they Ryukan and Ishin uh, uh, Isaac, exactly Ryukan and Ishin uh, have a small discussion because uh, Ryukan is blaming Ishin for the wound Mazaki received and that she was wounded saving him and so on. Um, Ishin, uh, in my opinion, shows uh, concern for the well-being of Mazaki and when they are discussing um, a voice behind them begins talking, they look at her and it's Urahara saying that uh, if they want to save the girl they should listen to what he has to say to them and then the chapter finishes uh, so this is interesting because this chapter finally establishes how and or what was the moment where Ishin, Ryukan and Urahara meet each, each other Apparently, Urahara will also, he will help Mazaki, obviously, because if not, Ishigo will not be born. So, um, apparently, Urahara also news uh, Mazaki. Uh, this kind of um, is strange, because if he, if he indeed uh, knew Ryukan, that was already entered in the past when he when he was saving Ishida from the underground training facility right before the he, he and Ishigo and the others go to Ekumundu he say something that uh, about uh, Ishida father that hinted that he knew him uh, Obviously, we also knew that uh, Urahara and Ishin uh, knew each other because Ishin, uh, Urahara and the other Ishi did fight together uh, against Aizen, but we never knew what was the moment where they make uh, acquaintance. Apparently, is this moment that is showing this chapter. Uh, because, but still, uh, there is an interesting, si interesting and strange situation at the same time. Because if Urahara do knows or do knew Mazaki and also knows Ishin, why when Ishigo began talking with Urahara and so on, why Urahara never spoke? with Ishigo about his mother, uh, about his father, um, about uh, why uh, he was not uh, so surprised for Ishigo having uh, Shinigami powers. This is kind of fuzzy and strange and something like that, that maybe after he heal Mazaki uh, Ishin and Mazaki decided to never told anyone about this. Um, maybe this is the moment after the Mazaki being healed. Maybe this is the moment when Ryukan loses his interest in the Quincy race future because he was quite disturbed because what happened to Mazaki. He was um, disappointed on Katagiri, but he could not reply to her or could not scold her because his own words were played against him. So maybe this is the moment after the recovering of Mazaki and so on that Ryukan starts to lose interest in the Quincy affairs and the Quincy powers and so on, maybe. Uh, well, uh, that's all, that is all for my review about this uh, chapter, uh, I don't know exactly uh, how many chapters will remain, I'm, I think I will say 
one or two, two chapters uh, explaining the process how Urahara um, healed Mazaki. Uh, maybe in this situation he also will explain to Ishin what happened to him and to the visors and uh, maybe Ishin will go back to Soul Society and try to make a small investigation on Aizen and will kick will be kicked out or this could also be the moment to where Ishin maybe some of his power uh, or some of his energy or something like that will be needed to heal Mazaki and that could also be uh, the reason why Ishin in the end lose his powers because he helped Mazaki to recover from this wound or from this situation uh, we can also ask if um, the fact that Urahara will be healing Mazaki and maybe using Ishin or Ishin energy or something like that maybe he will be also forced to, to use some Ryukan energy this could also explain Explains that maybe the powers of Mazaki were stripped off. Maybe because if she regain, if she re regained or kept his her powers, maybe the Olo will qualify her because apparently this is what is happening, and this also explains what Tozen said on the last chapter where he says that the white holo was a holo especially created apparently to holofy the ones he is attacking especially shinigamis that also explains that huge stuff that no 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 that huge white stuff that came out right before he was exploding and uh, why is uh, all hole was closed with a white substance maybe it's that uh, i don't know i hope that would hard i explain that on the next chapter uh, and we will see what is the process what that urahara will use to heal mazaki and if he indeed did will need to use Ishin power or Ryukan power or he needs to use Ishin power to heal Mazaki and also um, give the Quincy power of Mazaki maybe to Ryukan and uh, cutting off the powers of Mazaki to save her with I don't know but th those are all possibilities that could happen in the next chapter and maybe in the one after that well this is my review for 534 chapter of Bleach uh, hope you enjoy share your talks your comments below stay well peace